We talked a little bit about classifying uh, atypical lesions in the breast in terms of their potential risk for patients to develop breast cancer after they have been diagnosed. These lesions include atypical ductal and lobular hyperplasia and also LCIS or lobular carcinoma in situ. And data that was presented at the San Antonio meetings reinforces the idea that all of these are risk factors for breast cancer, that uh, the cancers occur at an average of about four years after these lesions are detected, and that the risk of developing breast cancer varies between about 14 and 20 percent among these different lesions. What's interesting in the data that was presented is a suggestion that more of the breast cancers that occur after these lesions are identified occur in the same breast um, as the, the uh, high-risk lesion was originally identified, and uh, slightly fewer are seen in the opposite breast. And this challenges some of our previously held assumptions about risk factors and how they should lead to an equal incidence of cancer in uh, either breast moving forward.